What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the deadlift and why you should be including it into your lifting routine. But first, I only have a few deadlift clips from the previous week, so I'll be throwing in some other exercise clips throughout this voiceover. Since this video is about deadlifts, I just wanted to mention that real fast. And yeah, so let's jump right into it. If you train in a home gym like me with minimal equipment, exercise selection is key when striving for strength and size gains. You want to pick exercises that give you the most bang for your buck and the deadlift is definitely gonna be one of those. And here are some reasons why. It's a full body movement. It's gonna recruit the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, the lats, and more. It can get your upper body jacked and it also can build your legs at the same time. So pretty much anyone you see doing a 500 plus pound conventional deadlift is going to have muscle mass and is probably gonna be pretty jacked. Reason number one to deadlift, and this is in no particular order, is to increase forearm size and grip strength. As long as you're not using straps, deadlifts will increase your grip strength. And grip strength is gonna be crucial for tons of other movements and especially for getting you better and stronger at the pull-up. When you're doing tons of deadlifts, your forearms are guaranteed to get bigger and thicker. So first reason to deadlift is to increase forearm size and grip strength. Just like your traps and neck, forearms are one of those muscles that you really can't hide when you're in a t-shirt. Most of the time, a big neck, traps, forearms are a clear indicator of someone being strong. So if you're wanting to look bigger in everyday life and in a t-shirt, a quick way is to simply just start deadlifting. And reason number two that you should be doing this movement is because of the muscle growth potential. Because so many muscles have to fire when you lift, the deadlift is gonna be great for building overall size and strength. And as long as you're doing this movement with solid form, a good range of motion, enough volume, and you're lifting heavier over time, size and strength has to come. There's really no way around it. There are gonna be several variations of this movement, but in this video, I'm mostly gonna be referring to the conventional deadlift. It's what I have the most experience with, but depending on your goals, other variations might be for you. Some other popular ones are the Romanian deadlift, the stiff leg, and also the sumo. By incorporating any of these variations, you're gonna get stronger hamstrings, glutes, core, and you'll have more explosive power that will improve your overall athletic performance. So the deadlift not only gets you bigger and stronger, but it has a ton of carryover to other things and other sports, other than just bodybuilding and powerlifting. I also feel like the deadlift is a practical exercise for everyday life. At some point, you're gonna have to pick things up and put them down, so incorporating this into your routine keeps you ready for whatever life is gonna throw at you. And the deadlift has really grown on me over the years. I used to always look forward to the overhead press and bench press days, but now the deadlift day is what I'm most pumped for and it's what I'm most looking forward to. If you're wondering where to start with rep ranges or how often to do this lift, I do them all. I do sets of five all the way down to a one rep max. And in order to truly get strong, you need to practice lifting heavy. It is gonna be a skill you must learn. Uh, I also use deadlifts for hypertrophy work as well, doing sets of 10. And just a warning, they can be brutal, especially when doing five sets of 10, but the size and strength gains are insane. I follow an upper lower four day routine, so I'm currently only deadlifting once a week. And that's where the deadlift really can catch up to you is when you're consistently lifting heavy multiple times a week and you're not giving your body enough time to recover between sessions. And that's pretty much it on the deadlift. When performed correctly, it works all major muscle groups all the way from your calves to your neck. But before you start trying to pull heavy, do some research on proper form. Spend some time getting better lifting moderate weight and ramp up over time. This will allow you to truly see the bodybuilding benefits and strength you can achieve from this lift. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.